begins. It's called Shrove Tuesday. Shrove means being forgiven for wrongdoings. Another name for Shro Shrove Tuesday is Pancake Day. Long ago, this was a day for feasting and having a good time. People went to church to confess the bad things they had done, or uh, that would be called shriven or being forgiven for, to start Lent. Um, as rich foods such as eggs were forbidden for Lent, they would make pancakes. Many people make pancakes on Shrove Tuesday, and in some parts of the UK, people run in pancake races. This custom grew up because of a legend dating from 1445. On Shrove Tuesday, what, on Tuesday, one woman was still making pancakes as the church bells rang. Rather than being late, she took her frying pan and pancake with her. Following the example of the nine vites who did penance in sackcloth and ashes, uh, our foreheads are marked with ashes to humble our hearts and remind us that life passes away on earth. We remember this when we are told, remember man is dust and unto dust you shall return. Ashes are a symbol of penance made, made sacramental by the blessing of the church and they help us develop the spirit of humility and sacrifice. The ashes are made from blessed palms using Palm Sunday celebration on previous year. The ashes are christened with holy water and are scented by exposure to incense. After that, they mix ashes with oil to form this. Let last for 40 days. It is, it is the time when Christians prepare for Easter by thinking of things that they have done wrong. It's a solemn time which reminds them of the time in Jesus' life when after giving up his work as a carpenter, he began to teach people about God. Jesus prepared for this by spending 40 days without food alone in the desert. Lent used to be a time for fasting or, without, or going without food as Jesus had done. Nowadays, many people give up favourite things they enjoy like sweets and often give money to charity. On Palm Sunday we celebrate the first joy of the season as we celebrate our Lord's triumphant entrance into Jerusalem where he was welcomed by crowds of worsh crowds worsh worshipping him and laying down palm leaves before him. It's also marked as being of Holy Week which with the greatest tragedy and sorrow of the year. Jesus' triumphant return to Jerusalem is only one side of the story. By now, many of the Jews are filled with hate for our Lord. They want to see him stoned, calling him a blasphemer. After this, Jesus went to Perea, where he was summoned to Bethany. There he raised Lazarus from the dead, a miracle which wins him such renown among certain Pharisees that they decided finally to end his life. Jesus took refuge at Ephraim, returning six days before Passover to Bethany. On the night before his death, Jesus had a final meal with his friends. Before this festival meal for Passover, Jesus surprised his friends by washing the feet of every person, tasks normally done by a servant. He wanted to show his followers that they should love one another in humble ways. Later in the meal, which is known to Christians as the Last Supper, Jesus passed around bread and wine. He said the bread was his body, broken for them, and the wine was his blood, shared, shared for them. It was later on that this night that Judas betrayed Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Today, rather than wash feet or give clothing, our Queen gives out specially made Maundy money in white and red leather purses. The white purse contains silver Maundy coins matching the Queen's age in pence, 88 pence, while the red purse contains ordinary money. On Good Friday, Christians remember the day that Jesus was killed on the cross. He was nailed to a wooden cross by Roman soldiers. This is the reason why the cross is an important sign for Christians today. 
At Easter, people eat hot cross buns which have a cross shape on top. Good Friday is a sad day and churches never have flowers or decorations on this day. The church is left dark and there's just a simple cross on the altar. It is known as Good Friday because Christians believe that Jesus gave up his life for the good of everyone. The crucifixion is remembered in Jerusalem even today. Large crowds of Christians take the same path as Jesus. In some countries, people act out the story of Jesus' last day, while others watch and think about the events which happened long ago. Easter Sunday is a happy day for Christians because they believe that Jesus rose from the dead on this day. They believe that Jesus' resurrection or coming alive shows that death is not the end of everything. Many go to church to thank God for Jesus' life. Church bells are rung and churches are decorated with flowers such as white lilies, which are associated with Easter. The colours in the church change to white or gold, which are thought to be the best colours. Eggs are always thought to be special, even before Jesus was born. It is because they are associated with new life when the chick breaks from the egg. After Jesus had, has, had risen from the dead, it was easy to think of eggs as a sign of new life. So eggs have always been part of, of celebrations at Easter. There are many customs associated with Easter Day which involve eggs. For this reason, Easter Day used to be known as Egg Sunday. The last 200 years in Britain, the custom of giving children chocolate eggs has been popular, while in Europe and America, parents hide chocolate eggs in the garden for children to find them. In many countries, children are given hard-boiled eggs, and it is also a custom for the children to decorate these by painting or dyeing them in bright colours. 